All right, we are out at the woods again, and uh, today we're gonna do some finishing on getting some stuff cleared, possibly meeting with an excavator today, we'll see. But behind me, we uh, brought out the Honda Recon, because uh, we can leave that out here now. It should fit in the shipping container. But I wanted to see if I could get the uh, foreman on there, or the rancher on there as well. Rancher, it's not a foreman. And it looks, looks pretty good. Looks like it fits. So that's good. I was kind of wondering, I knew it would be close. But there it is, so we'll uh, see what we can get done today. I want to get a tree dropped. My plan is to get the wood rack moved. It's extremely icy out here. Everything is just all ice. So this rack right here, I'm hoping I can just come with the tractor and pick it up from the back, but it might be too heavy. I don't know. But we're gonna definitely try it. We're just definitely gonna give it a go and see what happens. So the wood in there is all pretty much dry, so there shouldn't be too much weight there. But then out here, we got some random pieces I wanna get picked up over there. And then this uh, oak we talked about last time, I wanna get that dropped today. Um, Probably won't get it cleaned up today, but we'll definitely get it dropped. It, that should be pretty quick. And then uh, just so that our excavator, when he comes out here and looks at everything, he's got a good idea of what uh, he's getting himself into. So we'll get set up and we'll go from there. <laughs>
All right, so we are getting the last of this 12 footer out of here. So I cut that one at 12. There was a smaller piece that was left in the back there. So we're gonna use the winch and just skid it out of here, get that done. We got the uh, rack moved, the wood rack. Can't get the, the bottom blocks out. They're still pretty much froze to the ground. So I'll take you over there and show you that. So it's coming along. It's been a long day. So this is where we're going to put it over here. That way it's completely out of the way. It's not on the trail. It's just off the trail. And then uh, I ended up splitting a bunch of the wood. I don't know why we dumped it so far away back there. Um, but we did for some reason. Now we're going to have to carry it all back. So once I get the blocks, I'll get this thing back up and then uh, we can fill it up. I'm really surprised that the tractor wouldn't lift that, but some of those pieces were pretty heavy yet. I thought most of the stuff in there was dry, but apparently it wasn't. So we'll uh, get this winched out and then uh, I think we might wrap it up here for the day. So we've been out here since nine o'clock this morning. We got a really early start, so. Otherwise, I think it's uh, pretty good shape otherwise. All right, so we're wrapping it up here. So we got the log pulled out. Basically just stumps left now. Stumps and piles of pushed snow. Like I said, with the uh, the blocks here, I can't get those, uh, can't get those moving. I don't want to hit them with the ax because they'll just end up breaking the, the cement, cement block or whatever. So this one here, this tree, that's gonna have to go. That we know for sure. That I'll also have to put a cable on and pull because it's gonna go the wrong way otherwise, just like the other, just like this last one we took down. So we still got those two big oak logs back there. We gotta get those out. Right now we got the trailers full of all that firewood that we had stacked up next to the shipping container here. We got that all pulled out. So that's cleaned up. So like I said, it's basically just stumps. So I don't know, a little disappointed. I talked with an excavator and uh, I told him what what I needed done for a pole building and some improvement to the driveway. And he made it sound like he was pretty slow and he'd be interested and he could come out at just about any time. And I said, well, I was gonna come out Saturday. Yo, give me a, shoot me a text or give me a call later in the week, let me know. So I just sent him a text and heard nothing back. So I don't know what the story on that is. It seems like a lot of these contractors are that way. So I know I got another guy that got back to me about uh, putting up a pole barn and uh, same thing, we're booked for the year. I'm like, well, okay. I did have a guy call me back. Um, I don't remember from where, but he's putting together prices. So it'll be interesting to see where he comes in. Same size, uh, basically same size building. So same spec and everything. Anyway, so we're gonna head out and that's gonna be it for now.